What's up, Madden fans? Welcome to today's video, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to beat zone from the Atlanta playbook. Yesterday, we talked about uh, how to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the empty Falcon formation. Uh, we also talked uh, Monday about how to beat, uh, uh, how to have a nice base play from the bunch, some different nuances and different things like that. And in today's video, we're talking all about the trio Falcon. Uh, I think this is one of the lesser uh, used formations in the game, but I think it's actually really, really effective. And uh, we want to try to, we're trying to use this only quick audibles so that we can use this in our mutt game of the week this week and uh, I really want to show it to you on mutt because this I think is this this is the playbook I've really been enjoying um, but of course you know I'm gonna show it to you with the Denver offense because the Denver offense works best for it but uh, I am gonna obviously I want to show this is the playbook I'm gonna be using in Madden Ultimate Team so you guys could check that out as well but um, for the trio Falcon the play we're gonna focus on um, is this ATL scene you see right here, it's the deep pass audible. You also have the PA deep attack, which is a nice little variance off of it. Uh, you see that instead of a outside flood, it's a middle flood. You see that that little difference there. The ATL stick is interesting because this little blue route to the back is kind of unique. Um, what's also unique about this is this route to Thomas. You see against man-to-man -man coverage, it does a nice job at getting open. Um, a couple different things here real quick before we go into the video. They cannot... Do you see how they're misaligned on the left side here? Let me show you. You see how the guy over Thomas? Let me just let me just move. Uh, let me just throw my controller on the ground and then we'll get going here. Um, let me show you here. So what I'm getting at is this. So you see how Thomas is on that corner route? Okay. Well, you see the corner over here is on Julius Thomas. You see that? He's not going to be able to. We, like, watch here. I'm in aligned. And he can't. He's not going anywhere. Here I baseline. You see, he's only going to go out farther. Man aligned. It comes in, but he doesn't always. He never gets over. So that's a. They have to manually move uh, this guy over to Julius Thomas. So what we like to do out of the ATL seam is we like to take Eric Decker and put him on a in route. Take Julius Thomas. Obviously, we're going to put him on a streak. Um, I think if you put him on a fade, you don't get quite the same click on ability. Yeah, you see how they recover a little bit better. So just know that. Um, another thing that you can do is put him on an in route um, because the in route is a little bit more effective, in my opinion, because it gets a man switch. So just some things like that as far as man to man. But let's get into zone because that's the purpose of the video. So cover two zone, and it's the ATL scene play. What we want to do here with this play is uh, I like to take uh, Julius Thomas. I like to place him on a uh, – actually, I like to leave him on that pattern. And then I'm going to bring my running back over, and I'm going to put him on a wheel route. And then uh, typically what I'll do from there is I'll probably take Julius Thomas and put him on a some kind of a curl or something like that to kind of hold the zone. And uh, this is kind of what I'm running here, rocking here. So against cover two, uh, what's going to be nice is you see how they go deep with that streak. So it becomes a, it becomes basically a two-man read. It becomes a two-man game. So against the cover two, this is why I say put him on that curl. Um, let me get Marino over there. Let me get the setup in here. But you put him on that curl. Whoops, I screwed up the play. So you put uh, Julius Thomas on the curl pattern. They're in cover two. They're going to go deep with that seam pattern, so you can fit in that little curl route right underneath, uh, as you see there. What's also interesting is that uh, a lot of people have been putting him on like an in route. Well, like not a lot of people, but I would say put him on an in route. And this, this can create another – you see how that right there, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So you saw that right there. This is uh, This is really important. So if you put him on the in route as opposed to the curl route, you get a little bit more of a better suck down against zone. Watch this right here. You see how that same guy that went deep with Decker at the snap? This guy right here, watch. He normally will go deep with Decker in a cover two. Watch what happens. Because he's on an in route, he sucks down there. That leaves Decker wide. All this green grass for Decker to be wide open. So that's kind of an idea there of something you could do. Now what you would do is instead of – instead of um, – putting Thomas on the in route, this little angled in route here, I would probably do something like this where, where it would look similar to like this, put him on a smoke screen because that way, um, that way he, um, 
he uh, uh, acts as a flat pattern and doesn't run in the way of the play. So you could, I mean, it's just a simple adjustment. It's it's up to you. You could do either way. Uh, but I like this. But I probably would say that uh, the smoke screen is a little bit better against zone coverage if we're only talking specifically zone. So uh, the corner route does a nice job at beating uh, man. Another thing that it does a nice job of doing is if you look here, when they're in a cover three, you see that the flat zone is going to press that corner route. So I have the smoke screen over there. So let me get to the play here. But I have the smoke screen over there. And what's going to happen is basically the same exact thing. Decker is going to come. And he, now you see that he's going to pull the zone deep. And we could deliver the underneath pass to Julius Thomas. Uh, we'll show you that real quick here in instant replay. But this is just breaking down his zone. Um, you see how, see right here, see how the hook zone is going to stay. You see how he backs up. That's immediate tell you throw into Thomas. That's an immediate tell. Okay. Now, another thing that you could do off of this is say that they maybe went to like a cover four and they had the curl flat zones. Um, that's when this smoke screen route becomes much more effective. As you see against the cover four, you could just easily just hit that all day. And that would be kind of just a snap read. When you're looking to that side, you would tell, okay, do they got a flat? Do they got a curl flat? Because what a lot of people do, and this is a, this is something that we don't, as Madden players, especially myself, I struggle doing. Uh, but what a lot of people do is they'll throw these curl flat zones in to their cover three. And what does that leave them vulnerable, vulnerable to? It leaves them vulnerable to that smoke screen. And we just, I just, for me, I never hit it for whatever reason. But uh, it's a really good little snap read, and it's something very simple that you can do. Um, so, guys, there's so many nuances to this playbook. Um, again, you could do uh, you could do the idea here where if we motion Julius Thomas over, put him on that. Uh, you see how we can put him on the smoke screen when we motion him over and snap it. I mean, there's just so many different nuances, so many different things you can try out from this formation. There's a lot of universe, universality. Uh, and with this, what's really interesting is the fact that you can beat man with this ATL stick play really easily. Um, so you can just build on that, guys. But uh, for today's video, guys, you know, the basic progressions are are what you wanting to look at here. Because I probably didn't actually say the basic progressions. But basically, you're going to look to Thomas. You're going to look to Welker. You're going to look to Decker. And then you're going to look to Thomas and Marino. And I'm uh, So basically, you're reading right to left. So look right. Okay, no look left and you know we could try to fit that in or whatever obviously there I would have hit the in route but uh, hopefully you see the the point here I'm just trying to illustrate the read progression that we're doing um so and what you could do uh, this is just something a little bit unique I think but you could like put him on like you could put Thomas on like a you could motion him put him on a smoke screen and snap the ball and you see I just gets him in motion a little bit I don't know if there's anything to that you can check that out but there's so many things that you could do, and that's really what I want to get at uh, more than anything: uh, is be unique, you know, do what you want, but uh, also be effective. Uh, but here you'll see, you see how we could kill that cover two with the seam pass uh, with that in route. So check that out, guys. That's the ATL Zone Beater, the ATL Seam. Be sure to check out the rest of the content over at the channel, and be sure to subscribe to the Atlanta playlist below. Thanks, guys.